if you are a student, especially a tech student or a tech professional, then this particular term M Tech must have been very familiar to you. And why not? Because after this particular degree, you are supposed to be considered a kind of master of a particular tech. Now the question is that in which particular specialization you should do and additionally from where we should go for our M Tech degree. Now these two questions are quite relevant. But in present time, there is another third and a paramount importance question comes up, and that is, should we really go for it? Means, is MTech degree worth today? Do you need an MTech degree to make a substantial progress in your career or not? And it is most important because the previous two questions are dependent on this first question answer only. So if you are deciding, means if you have well thought about this particular thing that yes, I need to do MTech, then only you need to take care of other things. Otherwise, it is not of interest to you. So we are going to firstly see that is real MTech really of interest in today's time. Additionally, what was the scenario five or 10 years back? Coming to the specific kind of other related questions as I told you before that uh, in which particular specialization and from where, all those things we'll see one by one. So here, there, my name is Rohit Kumar. And today in this particular video, we are going to cover all these related aspects. And I'm making this particular video on a specific viewer's requirement. So hopefully this might be useful to you as well. So let's just start. So we are going to particularly choose uh, different sorts of articles as we usually do in our videos. For this particular video also, I have taken two articles from different websites. And uh, there they have given the specific kind of reasons to do it. So as I told you that we are going to check whether it is worth. So let's look at the kind of positive sets because what they are offering, what they are saying that you should go for MTEC. So here, the first thing, first reason they are giving that if the candidate is opting for a degree in Master of Technology, the students are given the education related to the particular kind, kind of stream of technology. This enables the candidates to get complete and enhanced knowledge about a particular stream of engineering, making them specialized in that particular stream. So the point is that after having MTech, you will be more skilled in a particular tech. Means you will be having a specialized knowledge. And it's completely true means that there is nothing fake about it because MTech itself says that you are going to be a kind of master or that you are a kind of bachelor. Now here, when you are going to have a specific dedicated study of a particular tech, that particular tech is going to offer you some sort of specific skills and those skills are going to impart some sort of knowledge into you which you are going to use in the actual practical field to gain some sorts of benefit uh, from multiple point of view means a it will give you financial benefits. Additionally, it will give you the kind of you know, knowledge benefits. But uh, one thing, as I told you, that uh, as they are saying that you will get the specialized knowledge, do you really need a degree to get a specialized knowledge? In present time, like uh, you have the internet connectivity, very cheap smartphones, very cheap uh, electronic hardware, do you really need a formal degree from an institution which is charging you lakhs of rupees? Because uh, recently the fees of the MTech courses has, all, with, uh, has also been gone up. So do you really need a kind of dedicated, a formal degree for MTech just to increase your knowledge? Because there are so many open access online portals and there you can go and just register yourself. Though if you want to have a specific or the dedicated teaching from a particular person, then you may pay off also. But uh, that fees will be very less in comparison to a formal MTech degree. So the first thing in which they are saying that you need a speci specialized kind of knowledge means the formal degree will give you a specific kind of knowledge. That knowledge you may fetch from multiple sources just by paying a very less amount of fee in comparison to a formal MTech degree course fee. Second reason, some of the reputed industries look for a candidate with a master degree in order to employ them for important IT industry jobs. And multinational companies like Microsoft or Google also prefer the candidate with an MTech and degree for the job. Uh, I don't agree completely with this particular point because uh, I do agree that people mm, or the good companies like Microsoft, Google, they do need a specialized people. But as I told you, that specialization doesn't come from a formal degree. It comes from knowledge and knowledge might be acquired from any source. You don't need to go to college you know, just to, to acquire the sort of uh, knowledge for which you are looking for. But if you are having multiple sources open up in front of you, like in today's internet age, you are having hundreds of websites, millions of teachers. So you may just uh, get connected with the right sort of person to have the right sort of knowledge and your work is done. 
that might be done free of cost, like uh, from public open portals uh, or the websites like YouTube, etc. Or you may have some sort of paid uh, specific websites or the kind of portals. So there are multiple kind of options in front of you. Additionally, the companies like Microsoft and Google have started their own kind of assessment programs or the kind of assessment uh, papers or the sort of other things that you say, the kind of questionnaires that they throw up, the kind of uh, uh, Google competitions that they throw up. So different sorts of things are there. If you are qualified enough, just go and crack them. So your specialization is proved over there. It's not about that a paper or a piece of degree is going to verify your specialization in a particular field. Okay, so now people are trying to verify your competence in real time. It's not like that, that your degree is supposed to give a proof of your specialization, your mind, your thoughts, your actions, your knowledge is going to give a proof for you. So that's a counter for point number two. Third thing, pursuing MTech after completing a degree in BTech gives the student the opportunity to get hired in reputed companies and earn more salary in compared to the students getting a job after completing their graduation in engineering. Again, I don't agree this, with this particular point because obviously the specialized people means after MTech are supposed to have more uh, or the higher amount of salary in comparison to BTech. But you think it from a different point of view. If you join a company after BTech, then you spend two years over there. Then consistently you are earning something. Additionally, after two years of experience, do you really need the kind of MTech degree means after two years of MTech, you will be, get at least at par of MTech or more than MTech degree holder. So in my experience, means uh, most of the people who just join after their BTech to some reputed company or some good space, then definitely they get the good amount of hype within two years. So that's why joining the right company and having the right sort of experience will give you actual boost than having a formal degree from educational institution like MTech. Third point, the candidate can also go for a PhD or into the field of research after completing the degree in master's in technology. Completely true point. Means a quite valid point, but point is that in today's time, you don't need a MTech degree in uh, specific cases. Means I'm not talking about all the cases, but most of the um, institution, I should not say most of the, but multiple institutions, have started the programs where they are giving the direct admission to BTEC guys. If you are having a particular kind of CGPA like uh, 0.8 CGPA, or you are having more than 80% in your BTEC, and you are uh, from particular kind of reputed institutions, here, for example, you are coming from CFTI Central Funded Technical Institutions or something like that, then you may have the direct PhD admission in different institutions. Additionally, if you are cracking the written exam of different universities, then you don't need a and take degree in some cases. So means it depends. I'm not saying that my words are the kind of wisdom words. You just go and have a look whether the uh, said things are true or not. And hopefully you will find lots of advertisement like that. Now, the thing is that uh, almost five or 10 years back, as I told you that the scenario was different. So at that time, the thing was that after BTEC, you cannot get the direct admission into PhD. So that MTEC was the essential requirement. And that's why the MTEC was quite in demand. But now in present time, because of this non-requirement of MTech for having PhD degree, obviously the importance have MTech, importance of MTech have gone drastically. Reason number five, the candidates after pursuing master of technology can also apply for a job of professor in IITs and IITs IIT and other engineering institutions. Obviously, IITs and IITs IIT's are kind of top-notch institutions and getting there, you need a specific kind of consistent academic record. But Master of Technology doesn't come into the way in today's time. Earlier, it was the requirement for having a PhD degree, but now it is not required. And all these institutions, IIT and SD IIITs, they actually hire professors based on their PhD degree. Means what you have done in your PhD, what sort of specialization you have done, what sort of project you have worked upon. Additionally, what sort of research publications you have acquired and the other sort of skills. So that's why MTech is not necessarily included because your recent research work, which is going to be a major research work in comparison to MTech because MTech comprises at most of one year of research work. But PhD consists of almost three, four, five or six years of research work. So that's why your PhD is going to contribute more in terms of research or in terms of getting hired into a good place in comparison to MTech. 
so that's why dz number 5 also doesn't stand moving on to the second article which is a sunstone.in blog where we are supposed to find some of the reasons which they are giving to pursue antec after bit first thing specialization in a specific field we have covered this particular point that if you need a specific uh, fields a particular specialized knowledge then you may acquire it from different sources from internet you don't need a formal degree second thing preference from multinational companies again the same thing that multinational companies have changed their way of hiring people that's why they do organize some sort of dedicated competition or the specific kind of coding challenges so if you are means uh, kind of ready for that then you don't need an interview third thing high paid jobs again if you are having the right sort of experience right after your graduation degree you don't need the mtech to get highly paid actually you will get more salary in comparison to mtech if you join the companies right after btech because consistently you are in for two years and then you get the hike based on the experience next point pursue higher education again the thing that now the situation has changed now institutions don't have the same norm as they were having five or ten years back. That's why you don't need the MTech to get admission into PhD in multiple cases. Then becoming a professor, the same thing. If you don't need the MTech for having PhD degree and you are hired as a professor based on your PhD degree, so obviously you don't need MTech degree. Then the last thing that the career scope for pursuing MTech after BTEC. Many people do say that your scope. Uh, for jobs or different sorts of things get into the after MTech based on the thing that you have the specialized knowledge. So just the thing is this, that use a funnel approach in your academic career. Don't go into diverse direction. Means if you are having a dedicated academic approach, means in BTEC you studied computer science, then in MTech you had information security, then in PhD you worked on a specific type of information security aspect. Then all these things, take you into a direction of a very specific research field or very specific research interest. Then obviously companies or the institutions notice this and they will uh, offer you the suitable kind of job or options. But uh, getting the wide knowledge experience is also important because getting the breadth of a specific subject or the interdisciplinary research is only possible if you are having the kind of idea from multiple fields. So pros and cons are there. It depends on you what sort of knowledge you want to do. So that is all from these two articles and hopefully we have covered the good points over here the reason that people say that what to pursue and tech has been discussed clearly additionally is it worth in today's time that is the sole question so again i'm going to say that in today's time it is not actually worth to have an tech degree if you are not if you are not very much convinced means you might be very much convinced for example you are in a doubt situation that uh, I'm interested in research, but I don't want to have a commitment of four or five years. Means I don't want to do PhD. So you can have a try by having an MTech degree because MTech offers a one year of research program. And one year is kind of uh, courses and uh, other things. So there you will have a taste or the kind of right touch of research. And then you can judge the sort of things that whether you want to jump into the water. Means uh, whether you want to have a look into the actual PhD research or not. So if you are interested, just go have a touch and uh, then have a taste of uh, actual research while pursuing MTech, though people do claim, means uh, again, a kind of debatable topic. So people do say that in MTech, you don't do actual research and blah, blah, et cetera, multiple things are there. But it totally depends on you. If you are doing your MTech sincerely, then you are going to have the real taste of research within one year. It's not about that you are going to spend three or four years only, then only you are going to have the right idea of research. So that's the thing. Additionally, the mentorship is very important. So as I told you, that uh, two questions come, means uh, once you get got convinced that I want to do MTech, okay, then the two questions are important. First thing, that in which specialization and second question, from where? So there are multiple specializations depending on the kind of area you are choosing. So suppose uh, if you are working in, you did your graduation in computer science and you are interested in a particular kind of aspect of computer science. Okay, for example, you are interested in computer graphics, you are interested in SDN, you are interested in IoT, you are interested in cyber physical system. So these are some specific key areas where you can go and have a kind of contribution in that form of research papers or something like that. Okay, but 
again the thing is that uh, how to choose specialization that is the question because uh, as a beginner we don't have much idea so don't believe on the articles don't believe on the blogs don't believe the kind of speakers you just believe your words whatever feeling is coming out of you means that is the true feeling in which field in whichever field you are most comfortable just go for that because whenever you are comfortable from inside whenever you are confident in yourself then that is going to bring the best out of you so that's my suggestion additionally from where you should have your degree so obviously give the importance to cfti centrally funded technical institutions uh, firstly i would like to say that i have made a video dedicated video on cfti or ministry of education funded institution so if interested then go and have a look at what sort of institutions are covered in moe funded or the centrally funded technical institution list and then you should try firstly those then you should go for the state funded universities and bmd universities etc etc why i am saying this the reason behind because i don't want to offend uh, the other people the other uh, non cfti institutions or the other thing but point is that many people or the many universities are asking for the cfti degree at least one degree in their resume in the candidates resume to get hired as a professor in multiple uh, or in different sort of jobs so that's why if you are having a central funded technical institution degree in your resume it is going to add up some value in future because uh, right now the uh, hiring criteria have changed and in future they will change more so if you are getting degree from right institution then it is going to add a specific kind of value now this is from hiring or the job point of view but from learning point of view also centrally funded technical institutions are the top notch institutions in india so if you are going there like the isc you are going you are going to iit you are going to nit it applied to iis cr etc then there you are going to have ample opportunity right sort of mentorship additionally you might have a very good industry connect and the kind of uh, laboratories the kind of uh, groups the peer groups which are very important part of research because the research is not like this that you are going just mugging up the things and just you are putting something onto paper thinking something and getting published you need discussion you need the right sort of discussion if you don't have the peer group just make some and if you don't have the kind of scope for example very new university no research group is there no discussion group is there then you may join the online groups online forums are there there you can have the sort of discussion you will get lots of knowledge just to, to clarify your doubts so that's the sort of best discussion uh, means the best possible advice from my side and uh, hopefully there uh, might be some of the issues i left uh, for the, in this particular video and uh, i will uh, like to admit that uh, definitely some of the things might be wrong because uh, as a human error some of the things might be wrong whatever i told you so always cross verify the things whatever i am telling you in my videos so that's uh, the honest opinion from my side hopefully the video must have helped you in some way if you didn't like the video please do comment below and let me know how the videos can be improved and what we can cover in our next future videos thanks for watching happy learning